Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat sejahtera Pada kali ini kita bertemu lagi dalam permainan kategori jaring iaitu pimpong Ini ialah standard kandungan bagi topik permainan kategori jaring pimpong Pimpong ini kamu telah pelajari semasa kamu tingkatan 3 berkenaan dengan kemahiran asas dan peraturan asas. Untuk kali ini kita pergi kepada kemahiran yang lebih tinggi dan strategi dalam permainan pimpong. Ini adalah antara kemahiran yang kita gunakan dalam strategi menyerang atau bertahan. Kita ada pukulan cop kilas, kita ada cop pepat, kita ada servis kilas, kita ada blok kita ada forehand top spin. Bagi strategi menyerang, kemahiran servis sangat penting. Bukan sekadar kita cuba untuk mencuri mata, tapi bagaimana pemain lawan menyambut dan menghantar kembali kepada kita. Ini adalah antara beberapa jenis servis. Kita ada top spin servis. Kita ada forehand side spin. Kita ada backhand side spin. Dan kita ada back spin. Strategi servis ini penting kerana kita mahukan pihak lawan mengembalikan bola ataupun kita panggil third ball supaya kita dapat melakukan serangan dengan baik. Kita tonton video. How you can attack the third ball confidently after your spin serve. You do a forehand serve with a heavy side spin. The opponent often holds his racket angled on the serve return and returns your own serve spin in an opposite spin direction. Attention! Very important! Do not hit the third ball wildly, but play a top spin with heavy spin. To attack the third ball with confidence, play top spin with stronger spin than your opponent as he returned your serve. In case of doubt, apply extra spin so that your spin dominates strongly. To make your topspin really powerful, apply to the topspin additional power and speed by rotating your body. At the same time, transfer your weight from your right leg to your left leg. My advice? Apply an additional rotation to the ball by moving your wrist. Let your arm hang relaxed with your wrist angled down. Keep your wrist angled backwards until shortly before ball contact. Brush the ball with a quick wrist movement forward. You can start the top spin movement at knee height, behind your body. If you want to apply heavy spin on the ball, brush the ball at lightning speed. To do this, move your forearm and wrist explosively forward in the moment you touch the ball, similar to a whiplash. Top spin motion seen from below. The faster you brush the ball, the more spin you create. Have fun scoring with the top spin after your good serve. Hi, I'm 
Alois Rosario from Ping Skills. Today we're going to talk to you about the forehand topspin off backspin. This is one of the most critical strokes in a game of table tennis because it's your chance to convert a defensive rally into an attacking rally. The three things we need to think about, like with all of our strokes at Ping Skills, are the feet position, your start position, and your finish position. So let's first have a look at your feet position. Your feet position need to be nice and wide with your knees bent. You can still be quite square to the table. If you do happen to get a little bit more time, you can turn slightly more. But basically, let's think about a nice square on position with your knees nice and bent. The start position is with your bat round about knee high. Have your bat open so that you can lift the backspin. The contact still needs to be a brushing action so that you're generating the top spin. Then you follow through and finish with your bat up above your eye level with a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. So the stroke is very similar to the forehand topspin against block, but the main difference is that we're starting lower, finishing higher, and your stroke is more vertical. So with more backspin, Jeff's stroke becomes more vertical, so he can lift the backspin over the net. With less backspin, he can come more forward. Still starting quite low, but finishing more forward. So with heavy backspin, vertical, less backspin, more forward. Heavy backspin, vertical, less backspin, more forward. Dalam strategi bertahan, semasa pihak lawan melakukan serangan, kita akan bertahan. Antara kemahiran kita boleh gunakan ialah pukulan chop pepat, pukulan chop kilas dan pukulan blok. Kita akan tonton video yang diberikan. Let's have a look at the forehand chop. So this is a stroke that you use when you're pushed away from the table. It's a defensive stroke that you put some backspin on the ball. Because you are further away from the table, you do have time to turn yourself more side on to the table. So your stance is more side on. The start position with your bat is up quite high. So get it up at head high, or even at the start, what you can do is touch your right ear. Then you move your bat down and forward and finish at knee high, and again, as a guide to start with, you can even just touch your left knee at the end of the stroke. So our three basic points, turn yourself side on, start with your bat up at head high or touching your ear, finish with your bat at knee high or touching your left knee. If the ball's coming faster, 
the stroke needs to be more vertical, so starting up high and coming straight down. If the top spin is slower, then Jeff can start up high but move more forward with his bat to push the ball over the net. So if it's fast, he doesn't need to go forward, just straight down. If it's slow, then he can come more forward on the stroke. Hi, I'm Alois Rosero from Ping Skills. In this lesson, we're going to talk to you about the forehand block. The forehand block is just a smaller version of the forehand counter hit. So the forehand counter hit just starting here and coming all the way up. With the block, it's just a smaller version of that same stroke, with the bat following the same path. With your feet, make sure that you're nice and square to the table because when you're blocking, the ball's coming at you quite fast. So you need to be prepared to play with either the backhand or the forehand. If you were standing just for your forehand block and the ball came to your backhand side, you'd be in a lot of trouble. So square yourself up so that you're ready for both sides. Then it's a matter of executing the stroke with a nice small action. Why do we have a small action? Because they're already generating enough speed for you, you to get that ball back on the table. You don't need a big swing to get the ball onto their side of the table. And you don't need a lot of a swing to get quite a lot of speed on the ball because again, they've generated the speed for you. The other thing is that you don't have enough time. So you haven't got time to play a big swing at it and a big backswing because the ball's coming at you fast. So think about a nice short swing and all it needs to be is just a small forehand counter hit from here to there. Once you have the basic stroke, then you can start to think about the angle of your bat and how much spin that they're generating with their top spin. So if they're playing with a lot of top spin on the ball, then you need to cover that ball over. Turn your bat forward so that the ball goes onto the table. If you have a flat open angle and they have a lot of top spin, the ball is going to go up really high and it's either going to go off the end of the table or go up so high that they're going to make a smash on the next ball. If there's less spin then you can open the angle up so if there's more spin you need to cover the angle over. The stroke still remains the same so a nice small forehand counter hit just now you're adjusting the angle depending on the amount of top spin on the ball.
dalam acara bergu eh, pemain bergu ataupun pasangan mestilah mempunyai kesefahaman dan kerjasama yang tinggi kita juga perlu tahu kekuatan dan kelemahan diri kita dan pasangan kita bagi mudahkan perancangan strategi dan teknik untuk menghadapi pihak lawan Itu sahaja untuk kali ini. Sekian terima kasih. Jumpa lagi untuk kelas yang akan datang.